and welcome to Ecoholics. Today I have brought a very interesting and a very important terminology which is often asked in the current affairs which is the Purchasing Managers Index. Purchasing Managers Index, what exactly do we understand by this? Before we go ahead to this infographic, I will tell you in brief what exactly is this Purchasing Managers Index. So imagine that for an economy, if you want to understand whether the businesses that are present in manufacturing sector or services sector, how are these businesses doing? Is the sector in which these businesses are, is it shrinking or is it growing? By what pace is the sector growing? By what pace is the sector shrinking? And how, how much businesses are increasing? What is the size of a specific business? And what are the number of people or human resources that are uh, coming in the business? To understand all of these vital details and to comprehend uh, the economic health uh, of businesses within any economy, within these sectors, we have something very interesting which is called as the Purchasing Managers Index. Now let's go ahead to understand the basics of it. Now. PMI is a survey-based economic indicator. So it's an economic indicator and indicates the economic health. It's like a thermometer for economy, which will tell the strength or the weakness of a sector which contains businesses and it will represent the growth or the shrinkage of that particular sector with respect to these businesses, right? So this is a survey based economic indicator which will provide the timely business condition insights which are obviously compared and regulated and supervised every month. Now what's the purpose of calculation of the PMI? When we talk about the calculation part, the major uh, importance of purchasing managers index is to um, give some important resource to the stakeholders who are decision makers, who are policy makers, who are investors, who are businesses themselves. Okay, so all of these different stakeholder, even analysts who comprehend data and present it to the people. All of these stakeholders uh, have to understand the sector and the size of the business and, um, and understand the growth prospects of different businesses. So which is why it's very, very important for all of these stakeholders to get a hint of it. And so PMI is hence calculated. Now, who calculates this PMI? Um, the PMI is calculated by a company, IHS Market, which is a company which uh, works on global data, analysis of uh, the global data, analyzing the different types of data, presenting uh, them, compiling them, and uh, making them comprehensible to people, to the different stakeholders. So this is the agency which works around PMI and its calculation. And finally now, if we want to understand the significance of the Purchasing Managers Index, so we can say that the Purchasing Managers Index works on three dimensions, so it's threefold, okay. Um, first is that this indicator will tell of course about the economic health of manufacturing or services uh, sector and the businesses that are growing or shrinking, right? So that's first thing. So it basically will tell whether the manufacturing sector or the service sector, is it becoming a growth engine or is it becoming, um, you know, a, a bag of uh, stones uh, for a certain economy to um, you know to uh, to improve so which is why this is an economic indicator that way then if we talk about from the point of calculation so calculation can go two ways if the pmi is high from the 
uh, threshold or from the designated threshold then of course we can say that a certain sector is increasing or the growth prospects of businesses are increasing in a certain sector it can be manufacturing it can be services so for example after the um, integration of ai to different sectors the growth prospects of businesses dealing with ai has uh, increased drastically right and if i if we talk from the point of view of um, a low pmi which means that the pmi is uh, low from the designated threshold then of course we will say that the uh, purchasing managers indicator or index is showcasing a shrinking economic health of a certain sector and so businesses are leaving that sector or probably the businesses are not doing as so well in that a particular section right so that's what is known as low pmi right so now you all in the comment section do tell me uh, whether uh, for a particular sector you think that the pmi is high for which sectors do you think that the pmi is low and what are your uh, ideas with respect to the purchasing managers index meanwhile i'll bring back to you different other such infographics which will be interesting and which will be related to current affairs of economics till then stay tuned to ecoholics Thank you.